also inherited a, uh, a uh, very challenging restructuring imperative in the automobile industry. The previous administration made a decision to help uh, buy time for those companies to undertake the kind of restructuring, allow them to emerge stronger. Because of what's happening to overall demand in the economy as a whole, and because of what's happened to the financial markets, uh, those companies were under really acute pressure. And their failure would have had very, very substantial costs to the economy as a whole. And so the president decided that we would be willing to provide support if there were, if there was in place, the kind of comprehensive restructuring plan to, to allow them to emerge viable as private entities over time. And you're going to see an announcement later today uh, in the United States about the both the GM effort and the stage of the Chrysler restructuring effort. And we're very optimistic they're gonna have these firms emerge um, uh, stronger without government assistance going forward because they've undertaken very, very dramatic restructurings. In both these cases, uh, the government's assistance has come in support of restructuring, not to prevent restructuring. And our objective is to make sure we're limiting our involvement to the minimum necessary and that we uh, get out of those involvement as quickly as we can. A successful transition to a more balanced, stable global economy is going to require very substantial changes to economic policy and to financial regulation around the world. But some of the most important of those changes are going to have to come in China and in the United States. How successful we are in Washington and in Beijing will be critically important to the economic fortunes of the rest of the world. And the effectiveness of U.S. policies will depend in part on China's and the effectiveness of yours on ours. The world's going through an exceptionally uh, challenging period now, and I think that the world has a huge stake in our two countries working closely together to lay a foundation for recovery and also to try to put in place the kind of reforms that allow for a uh, stronger, more balanced, sustainable recovery in the future with a international financial system that's uh, more able to provide a foundation for stability in the future. Uh, Thank you.